Melo King Bet, also known as Second Kings chapter 1. And Moab revolted against Israel after the death of Ahab. And Ahaziah fell through the lattice of his upper room in Shomeron and was injured, and sent messengers and said to them, Go inquire of Baalzebub, the mighty one of Ekron, if I shall recover from this injury. But a messenger of Yah spoke to Eliah the Tisbite, Rise up and go up to meet the messengers of the sovereign of Shomeron and say to them, Is it because there is no Elohim in Israel that you are going to inquire of Baalzebub, the mighty one of Ekron? So therefore, thus said Yah, you are not going to get out of bed to which you have gone up, for you shall certainly die. And Eliah went. And the messengers returned to him, and he said to them, Why have you come back? And they said to him, A man came up to meet us and said to us, Go, return to the sovereign who sent you, and say to him, Thus said Yah, Is it because there is no Elohim in Israel that you are sending to inquire of Baalzebub, the mighty one of Ekron? Therefore, you are not going to get out of bed to which you have gone up, for you shall certainly die. And he said to them, What was the man like who came up to meet you and spoke to you these words? And they answered him, He was a hairy man and wore a leather girdle around his waist. And he said, It is Eliah the Tisbite. He then sent to him a captain of fifty with his fifty men. And he went up to him and see he was sitting on the top of a hill. And he spoke to him. Man of Elohim, the sovereign, has said, Come down. And Eliyahu answered and said to the captain of fifty, And if I am a man of Elohim, let the fire come down from the heavens and consume you and your fifty men. And fire came down from the heavens and consumed him and his fifty. He then sent another captain of fifty and his fifty men to him. And he answered and said to him, Man of Elohim, this is what the sovereign said, Come down at once. And Eliah answered and said to them, If I am a man of Elohim, let fire come down from the heavens and consume you and your fifty men. And the fire of Elohim came down from the heavens and consumed him and his fifty. And again he sent a third captain of fifty with his fifty men. And the third captain of fifty went up and came and fell on his knees before Eliahu and pleaded with him and said to him, Man of Elohim, please let my life and the life of these fifty servants of yours be precious in your eyes. See, fire has come down from the heavens and burned up the first two captains of fifties with their fifties. But let my life be precious in your eyes. And the messenger of Yah said to Eliyahu, Go down with them. Do not be afraid of him. So he rose up and went down with him to the sovereign and spoke to him. Thus said Yah, because you have sent messengers to inquire of Baalzebub, the mighty one of Ekron, is it because there is no Elohim in Israel to inquire of his word? Therefore, you are not going to get out of bed to which you have gone up, for you shall certainly die. And he died according to the word of Yah, which Eliyahu has spoken. And Yehoram reigned in his place. In the second year of Yehoram, son of Jehoshaphat, sovereign of Yehuda, for he had no son, and the rest of the acts of Ahaz Yahu, which he did, are they not written in the book of the Annals of the Sovereigns of Israel?